Dwayne here from The Runner and today I'm going to give you my first impressions of the Puma Fast R Nitro Elite. So the Fast R is a neutral road running shoe and it's designed for road racing. So Puma states that it's designed for anything from the 10k up to the marathon. Uh, price wise, recommended real tile price here in Australia is $400, $260 in the US but at the moment in Australia this one is 40 to 50% off in some places so I picked this one up for about $220 so have a look online right now and get yourself a great deal on this one. Stack height wise we've got 30mm uh, in the front and 38 in the rear giving us a 8mm drop and you can see by this midsole it is it's in two pieces so it's a two part midsole so we've got two different foams we've got uh, an EVA mix foam which is a bit more firmer in the rear and we've got their super duper light and responsive nitro elite foam in the front holding it all together there they've got their power plate uh, the power plate is it's a it's flexible so it's not as stiff as a lot of carbon plates on the on the market out there uh, it's pretty similar to the Vaporfly of how stiff that one is. In the upper we've got a really nice light mono mesh. So this one just wraps around the foot nicely and it's just, it's nice and snug but not overly snug. Uh, we've got power tape there that is just giving that mono mesh just a little bit of structure. Now onto the tongue, it's got a really nice flexible knitted tongue. As you can see there, you can see straight through it. And that knit material also goes around the heel collar. So I'm getting no irritation in the heel collar. Uh, heel counter wise, super flexible heel counter like a lot of race shoes out there. And we've got a, just a little bit of padding just on the inside there just to hold that heel down in place. Now these laces and this lockdown is really nice in this shoe. They've got a little bit of elasticity there, but they do a great job of just going on top of the foot and locking it down. There's not much padding here on the tongue, but you don't feel any laces pressure whatsoever. And the fit for me is true to size. For outsole, we've got their Puma grip, but this is the LT version, so it is a lighter version of their um, market leading Puma grip. So I've had no dramas with the Puma grip so far, but it's actually quite thick as you can see there. Uh, but it's still doing a great job. It doesn't feel heavy. It's a, still a nice lightweight package, but obviously it's going to add a lot of durability to this shoe. Now, what's interesting uh, with the outsole here and at the bottom of the shoe is that they've actually got these uh, they, they're quite deep slits, and then that actually gives that rear that rear foot just a little bit of flexibility, and it actually adds to the ride of this shoe. It's actually quite nice. Okay, so what I'm liking in this shoe so far. Certainly number one is the upper. So this upper is beautiful. So it's just got this race like it just wraps around the foot nicely. The comfort level is spot on and the lockdown is just amazing. You just feel really racy in it. You feel It feels fast when you put it on your foot and you haven't even taken a step in it. So what else I'm liking is the ride. So this feels fast and it rides fast. Uh, I'm not sure what it is about it, but it is turning the legs over really quickly and it's nice and smooth and it's responsive and it's soft. Yeah, I'm just loving the riding this thing. Uh, and it's surprisingly stable as well. So what I'm still working out about this shoe is its suitability for the marathon. It just feels too fast and zippy. So I think it's going to be more suited to the, uh, the shorter races. So what I'm not liking so far, and that is I'm actually... My feet are actually going numb after about 45 minutes. Uh, and it's, for some reason, it's the sensation of where the carbon plate is going. It feels like it's this part, but in this part of my foot. Hopefully it's just my foot trying to get used to the ride of this shoe. But after 45 minutes, yeah, I'm getting some feet numbing. And I really wish that goes away because I'm loving everything else about this shoe. So I think it is actually a Vaporfly contender. I'm not saying it's better than the Vaporfly. It feels different but it's definitely in that category and it's definitely going to give it a run for its money so i'm interested to hear your thoughts on the fast r so has anyone been lucky enough to get their hands on this crazy looking shoe uh, i'd be really interested so throw it in the comments below of your experiences in it so far anyway that's it from me don't forget to give us a like and subscribe and we'll see you next time